Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivat Ankumani, an integration technical architect. When working in the integration technologies, uh, normally we develop uh, to the requirements uh, based on what we already know. But uh, in MuleSoft, it's quite an art that to know all the features that are available, particularly in DataWeave, and utilize them, utilizing them effectively to fulfill the requirements uh, uh, is much more exciting uh, than the normal regular working. So uh, such a function that we are going to explore uh, today which is plug function and uh, so there are so many exciting features uh, or in a way we can use plug function rather than knowing just technical aspect of uh, plug function. So I'm going to explain uh, theoretically what plug function is and then we are also going to see some use cases where we can use plug function effectively and you may not know uh, when exactly you will be acquiring this plug function. So uh, many times when you use this plug function you can uh, make the development quite uh, uh, effectively and uh, make the uh, piece of code uh, in a short and sweet manner. Let's get started. So let's create a Mule 4 uh, project and I have created a new uh, Mule 4 project called uh, plug function and uh, I have uh, utilized a HTTP uh, listener and the transform message which we are going to configure now. So let's uh, create a HTTP listener with the default uh, options and let's say plug and in the data transformation uh, we are going to apply uh, some features uh, of a plug function and uh, before that uh, let's see uh, theoretically what plug function does before we see different use cases which will be exciting. So here is a simple uh, JSON and uh, this JSON contains a simple set of fields uh, which I have constructed for uh, demonstration purpose and this contains employee and uh, it contains uh, two employees uh, in tandem back to back. So one is uh, uh, this section and this contains first name, last name, age, address. Address is deliberately made with the key value pairs uh, uh, to demonstrate a plug function. And same way phone numbers also is constructed like I have given uh, home phone number and mobile phone numbers under uh, phone numbers uh, section. So same way there are uh, two uh, entities, uh, uh, one with the employee name Sachin Tendulkar and another with the employee name Rahul Rabbit. So let's see what plug function does. So plug function does a simple feature which I will uh, demo now. So let us uh, uh, take the screenshot of this JSON and then put it in the MS Paint. So what plug function does is when when there is an object that contains a set of fields like this which is not already in the array format and it's just a key value pair because it's a normal json address entity and a phone numbers entity contains three fields like street address city and postal code which is not a normal collection of elements in an array so that's the beauty that we are going to make it as an array. So what we are interested is uh, normally we already know the field and then we take it uh, in data view. For example, you you say that uh, payload map etc. and then uh, within curly bracket you can say uh, address, city, postal code and then you populate the value based on the variables that are constructed in data view. But, uh, uh, here we want to know what key values are so that's the beauty of uh, uh, beauty where you need a, a plug function so let me show you what plug function does it just plucks like plucking mango from the tree or plugging a flower uh, from the plant it just plucks off whatever we are interested so now here we just plucked off all the set of key values and we can also pluck off uh, separately which are uh, the combination of value set. So this is a key set and this is a value set. Similarly you want to find out a type of phones uh, that are uh, provided by the customer then you can pluck it off and uh, value of the phone numbers we can pluck it off. So these we are interested to pluck off 
make it as an uh, array of elements so that you want to iterate it for different reasons say for example you want to extract only the home number or mobile number or some specific fields you want to construct in a in a completely different way unlike how you would normally do in data view that's what we are going to do now i'm going to demonstrate a plug function and it's not just uh, uh, the specific function we are going to see we are also going to see uh, how uh, in a different way data weave can be constructed like how to write functions so i'll try to um, uh, uh, put the solution uh, in a fancy way in such a way that uh, uh, there are uh, there are some different techniques uh, that can be understood uh, by the beginners as well as for, for the uh, advanced learners so now let's use uh, data weave and uh, we will define uh, uh, sample data and so whatever uh, json i have copied uh, i'm going to paste it here and uh, let's work on the data view first let's check uh, the payload is coming properly or not let's take it as json and let's preview it so now you see the entire uh, uh, payload coming as a response so uh, now let's construct a json and uh, let's say employees and we are going to iterate uh, uh, employee here because there are two sets of employees so we are going to iterate uh, them both uh, so let's say payload dot star employees should be employee and uh, so let's uh, map let's map uh, key and uh, position let's say data and position and we can now uh, choose uh, name let's say data dot uh, first name so this brings in first name so it's working as expected now let's uh, uh, leave off uh, last name and age but uh, let's focus on the address so now we will say address and uh, instead of uh, just uh, uh, mapping all the um, address values we are going to do is uh, data dot uh, address plug dollar so this is what uh, i wanted to uh, demonstrate see here we, it it's only retrieving values so the dollar will give the value part which i have already shown in the uh, paint so this is the value that we have retrieved it just plucks off uh, the value that was available in the so how it was already is was like this so now it took off all the values and then it positioned the each value with the uh, array like position this is the position uh, uh, 0 and this is position 1 and this is position uh, 2 oops this is position 2 so there are three elements that are plucked off uh, which which is put into the array you can see here uh, this is not in an array but this has brought in in the format of array okay this is about uh, uh, value and you can also take the key sets so um, address values and uh, address fields so let's say data dot address plug you have to put dollar dollar so now it's taking only the uh, sometimes you are you might be interested in uh, exploring say for example um, uh, if uh, online order contains uh, SKU and the quantity then you want to iterate uh, what are the SKUs that, that are selected because that you need to uh, you need to search in the uh, um, what you call uh, order provisioning system to understand whether uh, we have stock for all the orders uh, ordered SKUs so sometimes you might want to play around with the key 
sets also that's why we need uh, to pluck off the field value separately and uh, the same way we will uh, play around with the phone we'll say uh, phone types we'll say data dot and what is the field name here it's phone numbers we will use this data dot phone numbers uh, pluck dollar so now let's maximize this now you can see here it brings in all the uh, uh, phone numbers and not the types so let's say dollar dollar okay now it brings a uh, home and uh, mobile which is a type of phones but you want to you are interested only in retrieving the mobile number because after order is uh, completed you want to send the email update or uh, text message update to the mobile so this is a phone types and then uh, let's say phone numbers so data dot uh, phone numbers pluck dollar so we got the phone numbers separately so now what uh, I'm going to do is uh, in order to simplify uh, you can also convert it as a function I'm doing it deliberately because you need to understand how to convert these pieces into a simplified function so that you can uh, uh, you can uh, retrieve it um, for many functions so let's say fun and uh, pluck values let's say entity and uh, which is equal to you have to put equal to to define uh, a function function content so this is going to retrieve uh, uh, entity pluck uh, this is a value so you need to put dollar and in the same way uh, you want to pluck uh, fields and you have to put dollar dollar okay so that it, it's more readable uh, sometimes uh, it's not technically uh, getting the solutions even after uh, a couple of months if you look at it you will not understand yourself or what about the team members so in order to make the team members uh, um, make it readable to team members uh, you need to make it uh, sometimes uh, uh, function based code so uh, you are saying plug values of uh, uh, phone numbers and uh, now you need to choose here uh, plug fields and here you are going to say uh, plug values so the same uh, same case but we achieved it uh, uh, by using uh, custom functions in data view okay so uh, this is one and we are going to make it as a, a type specific because uh, sometimes if you want to take the uh, field values it uh, considers as an object instead of uh, uh, value so let's do that now so you want to ensure that uh, the data is coming out as strings so that uh, you, you are making um, double sure that uh, we are able to uh, handle it in a way that we want okay so now the use case that we are going to focus on is uh, uh, I'm kind of visualizing uh, that you want to bring it uh, this way so for example here you want to say mobile and you are going to bring in uh, some mobile numbers so for that you need to know um, in which position the mobile is available because that's the reason why we are extracting the fields and the values so that you want to uh, filter only the mobile numbers let's see how we do that so before uh, we start doing it uh, we need to import uh, 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 core arrays so um, I have given import star from uh, DW core arrays because um, uh, I'm I'm interested to know the position of this mobile so that uh, I can extract it 
there are so other so many ways to achieve it but i wanted to achieve it uh, via plug function so that you understand uh, the use case that's why i'm doing this way so so let's see uh, mobile position so mobile position is index of and uh, you want to see the uh, plug fields of phone numbers so so index of this is the array which is the uh, phone type but i want to understand the index of mobile so for that we will give comma and we'll say mobile okay now you can see here mobile position is returned as one here because it uh, mobile is always uh, here as a second but uh, uh, it's not necessarily that way for example uh, we will we will just change this value so we will change this as mobile and uh, this as home because according to json or xml it's only data this i mean you don't need to ex uh, expect uh, the fields appear in the specific order because it's not schema driven so even if it is schema the order is not important within the particular entity so now i deliberately uh, made changes and let's copy that and let's set it as a uh, payload so now it's updated let's see uh, here mobile position is uh, zero here it is one because we just uh, um, uh, swapped the positions okay so now i know the uh, position now how do i extract the number so mobile so we'll say mobile so i want to bring in the mobile number here so mobile number is available here this is the value of the mobile numbers and uh, so here you need to put this uh, position and copy this position above put it here and you have to put comma here and now you see here we retrieved a mobile number see this is the mobile number so let's verify whether it is right or not so mobile is for the first uh, uh, employee Sachin Tendulkar mobile is 1111 and for the second one mobile is 4444 let's check so for the next one mobile is 444 so once we achieved uh, I think we can pretty much uh, know how to handle these values by now and you can handle it in a way whatever way you want because mule 4 provides uh, um, using arrays Java function you can do plenty of things whatever you want so let's remove this and make it very simple and now it's simple like name is such in mobile so we made it uh, by using this plug function that's it in this video hope you liked it and if so uh, hit thumbs up and soon i'll be meeting you all with uh, yet another interesting video soon thanks for watching bye